Hello and welcome back to 3 Plus 1 Media where we talk about people, politics, and pop culture. And today we are talking about the Black MAGA women. Now, I am not talking about Diamond and Silk, Two Raisins and Milk, and I know one of them has passed on. May she rest. May, may she rest in peace. Let, may she rest in peace because every black woman has des deserved, no matter what they believed, no matter what they did, for the most part, deserves true rest in the afterlife once they transition to wherever it is they may be going. We're talking about the MAGA women of 2024, Angela Stanton King and Trevon Kuti, um, who had a MAGA meltdown this past week. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have seen no one on this platform talk about what transpired on the Malcolm X app. It, I mean, you, you, you get ready for some, some, some words, get ready for some, 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 uh, calls and emails and some going, people going on down to the finding wilderness. Like get, get ready. Cause this was pretty explosive. I think before we go into the recording of what happened on the X app, I want to give you just a little bit of back, a little bit of background about these two MAGA women in the event that you don't know them or know who they are. We're gonna start off with this woman right here. This is Angela Stanton King. Angela Stanton King is the goddaughter of Alveda King, the niece of Martin Luther King Jr. Now, some people have said that Angela Stanton King is MLK's niece. That is not the case. She is the goddaughter of MLK's niece. In 2004, Angela Stanton King was convicted of conspiracy to commit theft. These were federal charges for her role in a car theft ring. And as a result of it, she served two years in prison. In 2020, she was pardoned by former president of these United States, Donald John Trump. After her release from prison in 2006, she became an author uh, and a reality TV star. Like she was on some reality TV shows. Uh, she wrote and edited a number of independently published autobiographical books, one of which led to a legal dispute with Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parks, who sued her for $30 million. She was also on the third season of BET's television program From the Bottom Up. Now, on March the 6th of 2020, Stanton King officially launched a campaign to challenge incumbent Representative John Lewis, the now deceased, great, legendary John Lewis, for Congress. And of course, she lost handedly. She came back, ran again, and on November the 3rd, 2020, she was defeated by Nakima Williams, who stood in and took his place after Congressman John Lewis passed away from pancreatic cancer. Now, she ran against Nakima Williams, and of course, Nakima Williams again molly whopped her in the election uh, and by winning a landslide victory for the Democrats, receiving uh, and, and poor Angela Stanton King only received 14.9% of all the votes, giving Nakima 85.1%, one of the highest winning margins of anyone in Congress during that election cycle. So that gives you a little bit of background on Angela Stanton King and her loyalty and fidelity to Donald John Trump. Now, this is Trayvon, I think I'm saying it right, Trayvon, Trevion, Trevion Kuti. Trevion Kuti is a publicist and a lobbyist who has worked for celebrities like Regina King, uh, allegedly Kanye West, R. Kelly based out of, and she's based out of, or has been based out of Chicago. No, in 2023, she was charged with three felonies and indicted in the state of Georgia versus Donald J. Trump and others for her alleged attempt to influence the testimony of an election worker following the 2020 United States presidential election in Georgia. So in all these cases in Georgia that involved Donald Trump, Trevion is right there and she's accused of having bullied election workers and tried to convince them to say things they did not do for the benefit of Donald John Trump and the Republican Party. Now, according to online sources in 2020, she was the campaign manager for U.S. House candidate Angela Stanton King. But in what we heard on this Twitter space, maybe not so fast. Uh, by 2020, Cootie was no longer associated with West. Uh, or, or, or King, and in September 2021, Cootie's online profile listed herself as a member of U.S. President Donald Trump's Young Black Leadership Council. And that takes us to what you're about to see and what happened this week on the Malcolm X app. Take a look at this. Go ahead, Angie. She asked me 
to contact Ruby Freeman because I was the one running in the election and to ask Ruby Freeman to admit to election fraud. I told her, hell no, she was out of her fucking mind. Never talked to her again. When I didn't do it, she contacted Harrison Floyd, convinced Harrison Floyd to come down here to Fulton County. These two put together whatever it was they were trying to do to get Ruby Freeman to admit to election fraud and got themselves indicted. Trump knew nothing about this. Trump didn't ask them to contact Ruby Freeman, and both of them make Trump look bad in this case because Trump was not aware of this game that she was playing to try to get some clout. She never had any connection to Trump whatsoever. Any pictures you see of her inside of a private jet with Herman McCain or around any of the Trump family was because she was with me and my godmother. She has absolutely no access to President Trump, and it is wrong for her to sit up here and try to make it seem as if she's a part of his team when this man is sitting up here indicted on some shit that he had absolutely nothing to do with. So what she's charged with and what Harrison is charged with have nothing at all to do with Trump. I can tell you that that's on everything. So, Angela, um, I would like to say I would love for you to go and testify to all I of know that you with would. Fanny. Go, go, go right ahead would. and do that. So I'll put Who you told, in jail. You can't put me in jail, baby. Who told you to contact okay. Ruby Freeman? What do you, why you would I talk to you Ruby about Freeman? that? You did that. You called me and asked me to do it. You came up with the and, idea because you wanted Angela, it to be a publicity Angela, stuff. You're, 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 li you're so fucking. I don't. You, nobody look, has to lie on you, baby. Good luck I'm to you. Good luck. You good luck to you, you Angela. Shit. I good told luck you not to do good it. Luck to I told you. you it was dumb. You went and, and did Angela, it. You don't have any connection. Angela, to you're the one who was. You look, have no I don't, connection I don't to actually President know what Trump. You're talking about. He knows nothing about you and Harrison putting together this plot. To try to gain some cop and you got Harrison fucked up because Harrison didn't even have nothing to do with it. You convinced Harrison to do it when I told you no. Angela, are you on drugs? I've never been on drugs, Trevi and Cuddy. Okay, well, I've what, never been. You were Cuddy? never my campaign um, manager. That's another and, lie. We can't okay, so I have a check. And check you and check, Kanye check, West. Check, Kanye West said check, he does check not your know you. Campaign finance records. I fired check your you. campaign finance record. You were fired. Check your campaign. You were never the campaign manager. Angela, Angela, you, you, you couldn't fired. handle where I was trying to take you. Got fired. You. you couldn't handle you, where you couldn't I was trying to take me nowhere. You. I was trying you to help you win. And you were too ghetto to figure that out. Because I knew you was full of shit. You were too ghetto to figure that out. No, Angela, you were just too. pick up the phone and call Ruby Freeman and try to get her to admit. So How long did it take you to conquer? Well, you know you find the find phone, phone records. Find the phone records. Find the phone records. Find the phone records, Angela. I ain't gotta find the phone records. No, find them because you want. You great. Find that. Let them. You did that. Trump didn't tell you to do that. That was all you, Angela. When did I ever call you? When did I ever call you? When did I ever call you? The morning before you did the dumb shit and convinced Harrison Floyd to do it. You asked me to fucking do it. So you are such a liar. You asked me to do it, and I told you you was dumb as fuck, and that's why you charged now. And that's why Harris has okay. been in jail so long. How long did it take? How, how long did it take you to come Listen, up with that? So, so I don't know how long it took you to come, you to come up with that. I know I told you you was dumb as hell when you called me and asked you never, me to do it. We never even Cuddy, talked about that shit. Right? We never even oh, talked yes, about it. Yeah, oh, yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, yes, we did. The only time we talked to you about Who is anything, Angela. Who is we? You were the one that was, you were the, you were the PR on the campaign. This was your idea. This was a publicity First of all, stunt. you're lying. This was a publicity you're stunt lying. that you thought of. Okay. That you contacted okay. me and asked me to do. And I told you, hell no. And you called Harry and Floyd. This is one time. Mr. Angela, I'm why did you tell her no? I'm very disappointed in you. Because the shit was dumb as fuck. Shit, we never even talked about it. We never even talked about it. We never even talked about it. Let you me tell Angela, to I've already Trump. told them. I've you already didn't have permission. I've already told you them. You did not have I've already told them why. I've already told them why. You ain't told them. I've already told them why. You told them a lie. You weren't on the phone. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Angela, I wouldn't lie. You lied. I've never now. lied to you. And you know that. You lied, Angela. Stop. You lied about your connection to Kanye West. You lying about Actually, I didn't. You lying about not calling me and asking first me of all, to first set up of all, 
when, 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 when have you ever heard me say, just for the case, say for my case, when have you ever heard me say I've ever had a relationship with President Trump? When have you ever heard me say that? Who told You've you? You've never. It, you're lying. It don't matter if you you're said lying. It, I said it. You're I'm lying. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. That Trump like you has saying all this other bullshit. Your bullshit. Like you saying all this I'm other bullshit. I'm letting the world know and, uh, that President Trump has okay. nothing to do with your bullshit. This was your He has nothing to do with done. you. This was he your publicity <laughs> It was a publicity wow. stunt. This was your wow, publicity is. stunt. And now President Trump is being blamed because you wanted to do some stupid shit mm. and catch the fucking clout. <laughs> Yeah, so, you've been so, catch, so, you've been so, holding this so, all this on, time. Uh, let me get in here. So, uh, Cuddy, it, it is at least reported that, you know, at least the way it looks in the media that Trump uh, and his team created this 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 uh, this extortion, if you will. So we're hearing from Angela. And this is the first time I think the public is hearing this that Trump actually had nothing to do with that call with Ruby and trying to pressure her to. Change your statement around. Look, he had it's, nothing it's, to do best, with it, and he best, knew nothing it's about best, it. It's best, he had nothing it's, to do with it, and he knew nothing about it. This was Trevian's publicity stuff. Trump found out You're about the shit when he saw their ass indicted with him. He trying to figure out why the fuck is Trevian <laughs> and Harrison Floyd on this case. Trump found out about the shit when he saw their ass indicted with him. He trying to figure out why the fuck is and Harrison Floyd on the case with him. He didn't even know what the fuck they did. He don't even know why he's on a case. He know why he on the case, but he don't know why the fuck y'all called Ruby Raven and tried to get her to admit to a Fraud. Find the phone records, yeah, Angela, hold, hold on, for when Angela, I talk to you. Find, find the phone no, records, I Angela. Prove and you know yeah, the truth. I, look, let, you know the truth. I do know you the know truth. The That's truth. why you're you know you shit. Fired. You're just angry. This is you. You're not just Trump. no, this Angela. You. you were too. You were too, You were too ghetto to work together. Your ass got you know fired. It, it was bitch. okay. You wouldn't know whether I was ghetto or not. You got fired. I'm not. I'm not a liar. I'm not a You got fired. You're a liar. I just didn't want to. I just didn't. I just didn't want to connect you to Kanye. No, you. You got mad because I didn't me. invite you, you when lied I was in about town. Being my you got campaign mad. Manager. You would never my campaign a manager. Angela, look at you your campaign finance record. I wouldn't give a fuck what he said. You were look. never my yeah, campaign manager. Because you're lying. Manager. You sound you like an angry, you angry got fired. woman. However, how long was you on through the primaries? So we talk about the FTC through the primaries. How long was you on the campaign before you got fired? Through the primaries. Thirty fucking days. Through the primaries. Thirty days. Angela, stop lying. Thirty days. Lying. Stop lying, you got Angela. fired Angela. immediately. Angela, you're an op. You what? Because <laughs> you're an op. Am I? How you am gonna I? help? No, you the traitor. How you gonna help? The you can't even help yourself. You the traitor. You the traitor. You can't even help Girl, yourself. I'm good. You gotta lie about this case you can't even help yourself when you know you did that i'm lying you about the case. That and whatever you get you fucking deserve because oh it didn't God. have shit to do with but trump i'm gonna be i'll i'll be working in i'll be fine it hey, Cuddy, so, so to i, I do want to I, I do want to ask this question right um yeah so thank you. And, and again I, you know i'm not here to to play prosecutor with you right but uh -huh. this is new news that we're hearing it's not new it's well, no, no, it's new no i think you just i think you double down on it that trump did not know about this whole call with ruby like this is not something they asked y'all to do what i will tell you is for the 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 case that i have going i'll let everybody know that i don't have a relationship with donald trump she don't have a relationship with nobody on his campaign. The only person she talked to was Harrison Floyd when she tricked him and got him paced up because I wouldn't do it. Yeah. You got to so say, let me ask you about that. You let like, Harrison like, like, do me. Lie, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so, so let me ask you this, Cuddy. Did you call Harrison Ford and ask him to, to get involved with that Ruby stuff? I, don't, I think it might be a double year. But did you call Harrison Ford and ask him to get involved? Uh, because it sounds like before that he had, he knew nothing about it and that there was some sort of, from what we're hearing, that there was a, a call where he was solicited for uh, some, some help. She, she met Harrison through me. We went to D.C. Mm. because Harrison was giving us advice on my campaign. That's how she met Harrison. She called me first. Well, it I sounds told like her you no. might be a witness to this case. Listen, listen, she called, listen, she, she, caught, she knew Harrison through me. She called me and asked me to contact Ruby Freeman. I told her, hell no. Nah. She called Harrison and got Harrison caught up. Harrison sat in jail for almost three weeks 
complaining because no Republicans and nobody will raise money to get him out of jail. You know why? Because nobody knew about this stunt that she pulled. Harrison is caught up because of her, not because of Trump. So would you be testifying in Harrison's defense? It's nothing to defend because he should have knew better. When she called me, I knew better. Like he should have been smart enough not to listen to her and not get involved. It's nothing for me to defend. Somebody got to have good sense around here. Baby, let me tell you, there is no level of fidelity to President Joseph Robinette Biden that would ever make me in any way bring harm to an elder of the black community, to a black woman, period. It, there, there, there just isn't any excuse for it. All of this, of course, is about Ruby Freeman, who was the election worker in Fulton County. She and her daughter, uh, Miss Moss, who, who, who Trevion accused of rigging the Fulton County election results against Donald Trump. And it wasn't true. It, we know it wasn't true. It's been, proven to, it's been disproven, proven false. But the toll that it took on this elderly black woman's life is absolutely uh, horrific, disgusting, and something that we should not be seeing in 21st century America. It harkens back to the type of terror inflicted on black women during the Jim Crow South for voting. But this terror was not brought about by white supremacists and members of the Ku Klux Klan. It was brought about by other black people, Trevion and Harrison, and supported and encouraged online through bullying by Donald J. Trump. Now, for further commentary on this, I really want you to check out this News One article written by my fellow Zach, Zach Lindley, entitled Maggots, Trevion Cootie, and Angela Stan King fight over Trump involvement and Ruby Freeman case hilarious. He called it the massive melee. He said they were fighting like two peas in a plantation pod. It was a clear indication of black on black crime. He said that basically he summarized this massive melee as basically these two black women who always seem like they're one bad decision away from tattooing Trump's face on their lower backs turned the discussion into an episode of Real House Negro Wives of the Sunken Place and it was low-key entertaining, and I guess in many ways that it was, it was. With that being said, I would love to know your thoughts on this. I'm gonna continue to follow the story, continue to see what's gonna happen in Trevi, and continue to see what Andrew Sand King's gonna do, because again, I think that they are a little bit funny, a little bit entertaining, but always, um, I think it's important to kind of know what's happening in Black MAGA world. And I think these are two people to follow to kind of to know what they're thinking, what they're doing, what their moves are. Uh, but I would love to know your opinion on this. With that being said, I want you to be blessed, be well, and whatever you do, keep pushing and I'll see you soon.